Mortal Kombat 2 is widely regarded as being one of the best Mortal Kombat games of all time. To which I say, eh. Well, let's break it down. Mortal Kombat 2 is your standard arcade fighting game. You pick one of multiple characters to take on in a series of increasingly difficult opponents until you get to the conclusion of their story. Replay value comes in the form of mastering all the characters to see what their deal is all about. It was the fighting game formula of the time. Mortal Kombat 1 made a splash not so much for its gameplay, but rather for its ridiculous amount of violence that was not seen as often back in the 90s. Mortal Kombat 2 took what its predecessor established and created a grander experience. MK2 introduces more of everything, more characters, more secrets, more violence, and more difficulty. That is the point where you either hate Mortal Kombat 2 or you can tolerate it. By far one of the most difficult games in the franchise, MK2 feels like it was designed to suck as many quarters out of your pockets as possible. The enemy will react perfectly to all your inputs, almost as if they can read which buttons you are pressing. If you're playing as Sub-Zero, you will never freeze your opponent because they will dodge it every time. The AI is able to pull things off that is impossible for human players to do, such as jump attacking immediately after being knocked down. The AI is so cheap that dedicated players had to discover exploits on how to defeat them, such as moving in a specific manner that will cause the enemy to jump at you every single time, leaving them open for an easy roundhouse kick. This has left many fans feeling divided as simple exploits kinda suck the fun out of a game, but playing the game without knowing these tricks will destroy you. But it's by no means a bad game because fighting games are best enjoyed with friends. It's still a blast to play with other humans who can't cheat. Also, Mortal Kombat 2 introduced many characters that would go on to become fan favorites and there's a reason why this game, despite all its bullshit, continues to be seen in high regards by many Mortal Kombat fans. Everything aside from the actual gameplay just feels and looks right. Character designs, level designs, music, graphics, this is the height of classic Mortal Kombat in my opinion. MK1 feels more like an homage to 80s martial arts films such as Enter the Dragon, and MK3 shook things up way too much. MK2 is that perfect middle ground where it established its own identity and expanded its lore. A significant leap from the first without straying too far from the source material like the third. Mortal Kombat 2 has its share of problems, but it's one I enjoy overall. It may not have the polish and balance that modern games offer, but it is definitely one of my favorite Mortal Kombat games of all time. I give Mortal Kombat 2 a reluctant thumbs up. Games have come a very long way from those days. Until next time, I'm Boyle for Heroes of Fandom.